Hey Shea Bears and welcome to another video. My name is Shayla for those of you that don't know me. Welcome. Welcome to my club. Welcome to my club. For those of you that do know me, you already know. My name is Shayla, and I'm the best of the DJs. Want to fill my heart? Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey, hey, hey. As y'all can see by the title of today's video, I am celebrating being locked for a year. <laughs> I just want to share with y'all my journey to being locked for a year so i'm going to be sharing with y'all why i started my log journey and how and i'm going to be sharing with you some of the pros and cons for me personally of having locks things that i wish i knew before locking my hair and things that i regret yes there are some regrets in there but don't let that stop you if you're one of those people that are on the fence of locking your hair okay come to the dark side it's actually lit over here. Okay, I sound very corny. Um, let, let's get into the video, okay? Let's start with why I started my lock journey and how. For most of 2022, I had my hair in like these mini twists. And honestly, I was like going back and forth between locking my hair like all year every month or so i was like just taking the mini twists down and then twisting them right back up and i was like you know what i'm rocking my hair like this i don't miss my fro at all why not just go ahead and lock it and so august of last year around my birthday which was the 21st like kind of close to that time i was like you know what i'm gonna lock my hair i'm gonna go ahead and do it i ain't got nothing to lose let's let's do it i looked up videos on how to start your lock journey from mini twist and just went from there so i think like a month prior maybe i had retwisted my mini twist for like the last time and let my hair grow out a little bit at the root that way i could start the lock process and here we are a year later and i wouldn't go back to be honest that's pretty much why and how i started my lock journey let's get into some of the pros and cons for me um one of the biggest pros that i think a lot of people with locks can agree on is locks are low maintenance you don't have to do a lot to your hair like Compared to loose natural hair, you got to get up every day and find something to do to your head. Locks are so low maintenance, you don't have to do a lot to take care of your hair. But that also don't mean that you ain't got to take care of your hair, okay? So just learn what works best for you, for your scalp, for your hair, and do that, okay? Another pro is that you don't have to wash your hair every week like a loose natural does i don't know about anybody else with locks but i think i wash my hair maybe like twice a month and i know i know i know a lot of people are gonna be like that's disgusting to you to you it is disrespectful to you disgusting to you my hair is good okay I may not wash my hair every week, but I do moisturize it every day, okay? And another pro, a lot of people don't think that locks are versatile compared to having loose natural hair. Maybe. <laughs> locks are just as versatile as having loose natural hair, okay? Y'all better quit playing. So some things that I wish I knew before locking my hair is that your hair won't lock immediately. My one year lock anniversary is actually before the 26th, but since I can't remember 
the day I locked my hair, like actually started my lock journey, I was like, you know what, we're just gonna roll with the 26th. That's what we're gonna roll with, so. Yeah. And to kind of piggyback off the low maintenance thing, something that I wish I knew in the beginning of my lock journey is that your hair doesn't require a lot of maintenance. You don't have to deep condition your locks because that stuff is gonna get trapped in your hair. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I do use like a leave-in. I put like a leave-in conditioner uh, in my water and use it as like a spray versus like at the beginning of my journey where I was like applying the conditioner directly onto my hair. If you're like me and you're really good at making sure your hair is clean, that's totally fine. You, like I said, do what works best for your hair, but also be careful. Although locks are low maintenance, one con for me is when they get married at the root. Ugh, that's a con for me. That's a con for me, for me. I don't know about anybody else, but it's a con for me. Okay, moving on. This video is gonna be pretty short, honey. I know some of y'all are not mad at that. I wanna talk about some of the things that I regret. One of the biggest things I regret about my log journey is not taking enough pictures and videos from when I started versus now. I, I don't have like a lot of pictures and videos of like growth or anything like that. I think I have a video from like when I was a month locked. This is where I started. Like I was a month locked right here. This is where I am now with no retwist. So imagine, imagine once I retwist this joint, it's gonna be a parade inside my city. Yeah. It's a parade inside my city. Yeah. Not taking enough pictures and videos is an instant regret that I have from my lock journey. And hopefully in this next year, I'll do better. Okay. Another regret I have is like early on in my lock journey, I retwisted way, I feel like way too often. Now I just listen to my hair as best as possible. Whenever Tabitha says we need to retwist, we need to retwist. Like right now, Tabitha says we need to retwist. Okay, girl, I hear you. Another regret I have is not researching more thoroughly about locks. Like what to do, what not to do. And just like really preparing myself for the journey. I didn't do a lot of research. I was just like, I'm ready. Let's go. And I've just been learning about my hair as I go. I think this is my last point. But another regret I have is comparing my hair to others. I don't care if you're a loose natural or if you have locks. Do not compare your hair and your journey to other people's. There is no such thing as an ugly phase. Locks are beautiful no matter what phase they're in. So just appreciate your hair and your journey. Take your time, learn, educate yourself. Try to educate others if you can on what you know. Share tips, do not compare your hair and your journey to other people's. That is a really big regret I have. But that's pretty much it. If I have anything else, I'll probably make a part two. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. I really, really do. If you are one of those people that's like on the fence of starting your log journey, you got this. You got this. And just know that you have a whole community behind you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed to my channel as the videos are going to be dropping. I also upload like a lot of shorts if y'all wanna 
keep up with those too but that's it and i hope you all have a wonderful rest of the month of august we only got a few more days we only have a few more days which means we only got a few more months of the year didn't this year just start <sighs> again if you like this video please give it a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel stay tuned for other fun creative uh educational just more videos. Bye.